Hey everyone, Merrick here, and today's second video is a real talk video. I don't know what that means. Anyways, we're going to talk about the future of our streams. I've been having a blast doing streams and plan to continue doing streams. However, we're going to have to make a bit of a change. As most of you know, or have already heard if you follow other YouTubers, the adpocalypse continues. The latest beautiful rollout of shittery from YouTube is a change in your monetization status. Most of my videos are, are not being demonetized, however a fair number of them are, and a lot of them are being sequestered temporarily until they are reviewed by some mystical process and then being allowed to be monetized, which means that my initial rollout of these videos, I'm not making any kind of revenue off of. And while I don't make a lot of money off YouTube, what I do make, I get to put back into the channel. However, they're trying to fuck with that. And mostly it's because of advertisers and assholes. The assholes aren't necessarily the advertisers. The assholes are people that are putting horrible stuff on YouTube that nobody should be watching. And advertisers going, hey, we don't want our products associated with that. Fair enough. That's their prerogative and YouTube is trying to come up with a solution. I happen to say, hey, good job, YouTube. Where they didn't do so much of a good job is the rollout of this automated system for um, demonetization. Basically, what happens is uh, they turn ads off of any video that has ads on them where they think, by they I mean a program thinks, that it might violate some imaginary rules, I say imaginary because YouTube won't tell us what they are, of that would offend advertisers. So if it's got graphic nudity, sexual content, an abundance of cursing, some cursing, no cursing, I don't know about the profanity, um, objectionable material in the sense of like terrorism references, even if it's news reporting, they will demonetize that as well. Um, anything that they think, hey, advertisers may not like gets demonetized. Now we have a review option. You can have them review your, your video if you have a thousand views on the video within the last seven days. So basically, if you're demonetized as a small channel, like mine, where most videos don't crack a thousand views in the first seven days, you're out of luck. You will not be getting anybody to look at your videos and you will not be making any kind of ad revenue. What's happening now is a handful of my videos, not many, definitely not as much as people, or, or as many as other channels, I should say, um, have been demonetized. Now these are older videos, I don't really care, but it does point out the fact that this is going to be happening more frequently as they become more aggressive with this screening program of theirs. It means that it's going to be harder for me to support the channel with its own revenue. So what are my options? Well one, I don't know. I mean the, the first option is I could try to change my channel and make it something I don't want it to be, which is like an ultra goody goody, non controversial, no profanity kids channel. I'm not that person. I'm not going to pretend to be that person, so we're not going to go with that option. The second option is do what we're doing, let it ride, which is what we're going to do. But we're going to augment it with things like game lists, which allows some of you to uh, have already done this, some of you to, to support the channel monetarily every month. And that's a huge help. It offsets what I'm losing based off of the adpocalypse and demonetization. Now, again, it's not much, but it helps so much. It helps me buy games, helps me pay for hosting, helps me uh, just justify this. Uh, time sync with my family because yeah, I, I spend a lot of time doing this But I enjoy it. So it's not a huge problem anyways The the continuation of the second option that we're going with is I was extended an offer to join the twitch affiliate program What this means is I can now have subscribers on twitch I can um, get bits on twitch that you can earn by watching ads or by buying them I get a penny per bit, which is what the regular partners get, and the money goes straight to me after 
Twitch takes their cut. The same thing with subs. If I get a, a subscriber, uh, Twitch takes their cut, I get the rest. This also means I could be qualified for Prime subscribers. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to a channel for free. It costs you nothing, it's included in your thing. All you gotta do is re-up every month, and it means that I get the regular monetization of that. So, what changes? Well, what changes is pretty big. In order to join the Twitch affiliate program, I can no longer stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So. What that means is, if I'm streaming on Twitch, I cannot put that footage on YouTube for 24 hours. So they have exclusive rights to hold that VOD for 24 hours. So let's say I do my Friday night stream. I wouldn't be able to put that online until Saturday evening on YouTube. It basically means that if you don't come to Twitch, you have to wait until I put the VODs out on YouTube. Which I will do, but it's a huge change. And I've been wrestling with this for the for a whole week now of like, what do I do and where's the benefit? And then I got hit with all these demonetizations and I realized that if I don't diversify and give you guys more options for supporting the channel, I'm going to lose the channel just because YouTube's just going to push me out. They're just going to say, hey, look, we're going to give you zero dollars and then you can't justify it. So, let's talk about what the Twitch affiliate gives us. I have not pulled the trigger on this yet, but I do think I'm going to. Um, I want to hear what you guys think first. Anyways, let's talk about what you get. Um, you can do cheering with bits, like you can with the larger partners and other affiliates. Um, Subscribers will get one sub emote instead of having 50 sub emotes. We'll at least have one, which is good because I can get an emote now and you don't have to wait for um, Game Wisp to give it to you. Uh, game sales, I don't really know what that is, but apparently you can buy games through my channel with some link and I'll get a cut of it. I'm not sure what that is. Ads, ads are coming soon. I don't know what the ads are. Um, I get more um, transcoding options, which means you get better uh, display options and speeds. I get the normal uh, VOD storage. I don't have stream delay, which I don't use because I don't play uh, competitive games. And um, that's about it. The rest of the features are for me. Uh, chargeback protections, payout time frame, 60 days. Uh, I have to pay any kind of payout fees and I get regular customer service and a verified channel badge I do not qualify for. That's all Twitch partner stuff. Anyways, what it means is that we're going to be splitting our community a bit and I wanna know what you guys think about that. Would you prefer me not going to Twitch? I mean, that's what it comes down to. And, and keep in mind, the going to Twitch would just be for the streams. I would continue making my regular weekly YouTube content like I'm doing now. The real change is going to be that uh, the Twitch streams will be cut up into individual videos, probably on, at our segments. So we'll have uh, three of the Doom, three of the Skyrim videos that come out throughout the week. Probably won't do much with Fridays. Uh, unless you guys just decide you want to see the Friday ones cut up as well. And those will be put out during the week so that people that can't watch on Twitch or people that choose to rewatch it, I guess, um, can, can at least see the videos. It's kind of, it's a compromise. It's not kind of a compromise. It is just straight up a compromise. But at the same time, it allows me to build another platform for me to continue doing this on just in case YouTube becomes even harder for small channels to grow on. Um, I mean, as channels struggle on YouTube, we have to find other places to stream or to post content because I don't want to stop doing this. You guys are fantastic, and I want to keep making content for you. And so I'm going to do that wherever I can, and I think this is an avenue for me to do that. And I'm rambling a little bit. Anyways, we're going to end this off with a, a simple question. What do you think about streams going to Twitch only and me becoming an affiliate 
which would give us options for uh, more monetization and support that you guys could give to the channel. So let me know what you think. Put your thoughts down below. Uh, I'll take it into consideration and we'll go from there. Uh, I, I think this weekend we will do um, streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. I'll probably pose the question a couple times throughout the streams over the weekend. And, you know, I'll let you guys know next week what, what I decide to do and uh, what the best course of action is going to be for the, the channel. I think that's about it. All right. I hope you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend if I don't see you at the streams. Um, just be safe out there and, you know, throw some love towards Florida because they're about to get slammed with a hurricane and Texas and then Florida again. And also all of our friends out on the islands that have already been hit, you know, our hearts go out to you guys. All right. Thanks guys. And I'll see you later. Bye.